Hello everyone, story time with Ill Burko. Uh, very quickly guys, I'm still pretty ill, so, well I say I'm pretty ill, it's just like a stuffy nose I've got now, that's pretty much it, and a slight headache, apart from that, I'm pretty damn, well I feel pretty damn good to be honest, um, and of course my voice may sound a bit weird, so, bit of story time, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say the guy's name for two reasons, which are games for the moment, and I'm not going to say the video where this guy left a comment on because, well, he may just get him hate or something, which wouldn't help me at all. But looks to a short, in a previous video, it wasn't the latest one, that's all I'll say. Like, in a previous video, the guy left a comment saying, Stop, perfect blocking, it's timid. You know, basically, like, you know, that's basically what he said. Um, he, no, sorry, he didn't say to do it, you have to stop it. He told me to stop doing it. I mean, it's a new meme on the channel now. If you see a comment saying something like, Oh, Virgo, stop being timid or obnoxious, that's the reason why. So I was thinking, well, that's something that I obviously don't do because, well, to begin with, he said, that's all I did. Then later on, he said, 95 to 5% was, you know, bait, baited and punched my opponent, they changed it to 90% to like 10%. It's like, he just, you know, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. So they got me thinking, what if I, you know, do a video where that's actually what my playstyle is? So, for most of these fights at least, I think for, like one fight I may just get a bit more and start, you know, really playing aggressively. I think, you know what, I'm just going to try and get as many perfect blocks off as possible and just, you know, wait until my opponent pursues me, then I'll punish them, you know, I'll bait them, then I'll punish them. So that's what we're going to do for this video. And of course, I'm not going to mention the guy's name who made that comment because of two reasons. Firstly, at least off the top of my head, I can't remember what his name was. I believe he began with either a V or a Y. I believe it was a V, but again, off the top of my head, I just can't remember his name. And secondly, if I do mention his name, the only thing that will happen will be he'll get hate, which wouldn't help me out at all. So that's the other reasons why. So first boom set, I have cross arm dive, sledgehammer, arm crash, and savage strike, two ultimates, spirit sword and burning strike, super sound as my transformation, and final pose as my basic, because why not? So the reason why I went for arm crash was because, well, if my opponent picks up on what I'm doing and that I'm just blocking, then maybe they'll try and do as well, or like maybe they'll try and mash L1, you have know, to block. Then if they did that, I will then be, you know, be able to go for like arm crash or even just like a normal heavy smash to then break their guard and then I can go for the sledgehammer into cross arm dive into this savage strike. So it's a bit of like a combination. There's something I may do as well soon is like a move set back, you know, with like of course four supers, two ultimates, maybe and amazing that given that you have enough key and or stamina, you'll be able to, I guess like, you know, use every single attack for one, you know, stamina break combo. That's something I may do, guys, feel free to leave your suggestions and comments for that. Again, I'm not sure if I will do that, you know, right now, but who knows. There, I went for the burning strike, didn't work, so I went for the spirit sword, and because he had no stamina to vanish and use his evasive, that was enough to, of course, trap him, and then to finish that guy off. Very nice. Okay, so, going into the next battle for this video now, this guy has picked his mouse and after again, number 99. I believe I saw Dragon Fist and Victory Rush, so, presumably, he's going to be, oh yeah, Super God Fist, so, presumably, he's going to be a strike-based player, so I need to be a bit careful here. But that being said, if he is, you know, if he's Rune Super Saiyan, you know, right there, I got Super Saiyan 3, if he's also Rune Super Saiyan, then that's going to be my opening to, you know, perfect block it, you know, and then go for the heavy stand record sort of thing, so then go for like, I mean, right now I've got Max Key, so I can go for like my stand break, well, I say my stand break combo, I can go for like my, you know, my entirety, you know, like the entirety of my supers right now if I really wanted to. I'll go for the statue, like, eat the Savage Strike, that was that new. Yeah, I'll just be even for a moment because again, like, I want to make sure that in this video, for as long as possible, I could just, you know, like, wait and then bait my opponent and then punish them. So, perfect block there. Yeah, he vanishes, then backsteps. Um, goes for the cheeky throw, so fair enough. And that's something there. It's like, if someone thinks that the playstyle is not of, like, waiting is cheap, then firstly, I mean, if you do think that, it's your opinion. No one will say that you're wrong for thinking that. But there's a lot of ways around it. Like the reason why I went for Arm Crash is really, you know, yeah, like what we mentioned before. So Arm Crash, Sledgehammer, and the Dodoria Headboard. Those are the three that I can remember off the top of my head. If you go for those fully charged and your opponent tries to block them, they will break your opponent's guard. And of course, after you do break their guard, the rest is history. You know, just do as much damage on them as possible. I mean, you could say because of that that me running both Arm Crash and Sledgehammer is a bit pointless, but they're both pretty damn good, especially Sledgehammer and even more so with the Sledgehammer cross-up combo, like, you know, like Sledgehammer and 
Arm Crash are two pretty damn good strike supers, they really are. Um, so yeah, they goes for a stone break, don't know why. So I got for stone break, into the cross arm dive, uh, sorry, into the snatch over, then to the cross arm dive. So from here, it's good. Well, it's not gonna be game, of course. Now the fights only just start. Well, I say the fights only just started. We're back about halfway through. Um, so yeah, and also if you're fighting someone who's just mashing block like that guy right there, again, just a heavy smash. You know, you don't even need any sort of strike or ultimate strategy to do what I just did. I'll crash there. It's gonna be game, I think. Is it? No, I they were coming down for some reason. Oh yeah, I got for final polls, which. Off the top of my head, I forget what Final Pulse does. It does actually do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of damage on your opponent, like chip damage or something like that. But I want to say that Final Pulse actually just decreases the amount of damage that you take or increases the amount of damage that you deal. Again, off the top of my head, I can't remember. So, um, yeah, my bad. So, yeah, go for like the stamina right there. And that was enough to finish that guy off. Very nice. Next battle, the Capital Corporation stage. I don't think I meant to pick this, and I think later when I picked the Galatia stage as well, which I mean, it wouldn't really be the best for this moveset, I don't know, or not this moveset, but rather hell I'm trying to play here. So pick Super Tank God Goku, fair play. You know, he's blocking there, just don't know why he did that. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. But yeah, here I will get a bit of as advantage on him because, well, you know, Rock is guy at the very beginning. They're going for the instant, but you could call it like the instant on the war, Savage Strike. I think I mentioned this in a video somewhat recently, I can't remember which one, but I never noticed that if you war <laughs> Savage Strike, you actually put your fingers to, you know, to your forehead as if you do an easy transmission, which it would make sense given that's what Vegeta did in the anime, but I never noticed that before until recently. So I do get baited there pretty hard, but well, baited or just, you know, just make a very average mistake, because of course, as you guys saw, he broke my guard as I was blocking, and it almost happened again there. And I think he does that quite a few times now, probably because, well, it worked the first time, so maybe it's going to work, but well, maybe he's thinking that it's going to work to the lateral as well. There goes the Super Dragon Fist, I've perfectly blocked two of the three hits, the first and the third hit. I don't know if you can perfectly block the second hit, if you can, I don't want to time it. Super Dragon 3, he goes for back to charge, I got my arm crash thinking he may try and block it the last second. Didn't work, wonderful. Uh, yeah, I forgot to combo there, which is a bit of a shame that Super well, Goku, well I think it's just Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue Goku, like that tends to have a point a bit, you know, that combo there. He goes for a heavy splash, he goes for a uh, stab as well, so he goes for a stab radish there. Very nice. Uh, into a clash, and I believe it's going to be game with Marvels. Yeah, he goes for a cheeky Super Genkidama. Um, I'll crash into the Savage, uh, not Savage Strike. Um, I'll crash into the Sledgehammer, right? into the Cross Off Dive, into the Spirit Sword, and guys, that is game. That is very nice indeed. So, um, not Savage Strike, uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, Spirit Sword is a tactic that I would used to use in Xenoverse 1. Actually, pretty much all the time, if, you, you know, if I wasn't using my um, what is it, my Super Saiyan Beyond God build, which is my anti, well it was my anti-cheat build. I think the reason why I stopped using it for a main build in Xenoverse 2 was because, well now it takes 4 bars of key to use rather than just 3. Um, I mean, well, it could have been because of that and because, well, yes it is a, you know, a fairly decent ultimate, you know, it'll do quite a bit of damage if you've got you know, your setup right, but I, mean, I don't know, like it just, it seems like it could go wrong pretty fast, basically. So yeah, uh, there you go for the phone the wall, didn't work. Got Max Key there, I think I may hit him to make him vanish. Yeah, hit him there. And then got Super Dragon 3, in a you know, trying to anticipate him vanishing, in which case he probably would have sent him flying away if it didn't work, so whatever. Uh, yeah, and I believe it's this guy, he kind of starts relying on, or rather he's trying to go for a few cheeky Hyper Drain attempts. There, Super Saiyan 3, I probably block it, uh, you know, heavy smash, break his guard. Uh, Actually, what do I do here? I don't think it's going to be game yet. No, okay, so now I make a massive mistake thinking that the um, uh, the uh, Slash Jammer would have actually connected there. did so I got the Warp Savage Strike, or I guess like the Instant Savage Strike, or like the Instant Transmission Savage Strike, whatever you call it. There he goes for a Fang Blast into a Hyper Drain attempt. I mean, if I get one Pepper Block off, well, I was going to say, if I got one Pepper Block off there, that would have, of course, broken his guard. Yeah, he breaks his own stamina. I'm guessing unintentionally because. He just like stood still for a moment, like quite literally like just staring at me. So I'm guessing that was maybe like a mistake on his end, because there of course. Went for the uh, what was it, the uh, spirit tunnel was enough to finish him off. This guy, I believe it's Brave Soul Attack and the Time Skip Monotar level 86 and I'm level 99 in case anyone's new to the channel, because we're always getting new people to the channel. Welcome. Um <laughs> That's so dark then, okay, I said it. Uh, I believe these fights as well are going to be both uh, 
Charlie Sarah has stuttered next time. These are going to be both playing matches and red battles, but the mark going to have limitations, turn offs, or super soul effects that will, that will take effect. I believe I'm running the um, Vegeta super soul, he gets serious, uh, would you? I no, no, I think I'm running the Valus one. Yeah, the Valus one, the Watch Your Tongue, which you don't know what that does. When you get a Pepper Block off, it will recover a tiny bit of stamina and key. And because, well, Pepper Blocking gives you one bar of key back anyway. When you get a power block, it will cover two bars of your key, which is pretty damn nice. That's a uh, try to go for a uh, standard rag, so I go for the arm crash. Now, I'm going to speed this footage up and we just stay on each other. Like, it sounds like a second, I'm not entirely sure. Here, Super Saiyan 3, Saiyan flying away. I'm just standing still now because, again, I'm just waiting for him to pursue me. Uh, well, I was, then he goes to Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, we're spinning this bit up here. Uh, nothing happened. And, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, trying to get a power block up there as he rushed me. Of course, it didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I believe it's going to be game any time there, actually. Look at the best of like, what? Um, 15 or so seconds. Yeah, it goes for a snap vanish there. Perfect block hit, very nice. I think it goes for it again. Yeah, right there. Perfect block. Oh no, he doesn't snap it. He just, uh, tr no, I think he lets go just before he's fully charged. So, of course, you know. I mean, if he did that well in his base form, of course, that wouldn't have, I guess, like, teleported. And that may have actually broken my guard because I just don't know how to perfect block a fully charged smash. I know you can, but I, I want to say it's actually frame specific, but I'm not entirely sure. Who knows? Okay, so going into the final battle for this video now. Again, at like one point in this fight right here, I will speed this up. This guy, he's picked his and the Mechian. Um, yeah, okay, so in this fight now, as remembering, uh, I don't think I actually like, wait for him. Like, I don't think I will like, really bait him or what have you. Like, because it's, it's in the Mechian, I was thinking, Hold on, he may have the giant mechin for. That would be pretty damn good for the video, because I can't remember the last time I battled someone who was actually in the giant mechin transformation. So what I was doing here was I was just trying to, I guess, like bring it out of him. Kappa, what? Uh, but spoilers, he doesn't have a giant mechin for, or if he does, he doesn't use it. I actually can't remember what transformation he has, or even if he goes for it. Yeah, right there. Again, I just fed up. Yeah, fuck the job. Look, I thought he was going to go for it, because like, when you do go for the giant mechin for, you go to the ground. Uh, yeah, so I was just oh, excuse me, sniffing, uh, like sniffing there, Kappa, what? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it didn't work. And I think in the moment I just get a bit impatient. Because I've got max key and stamina right now, almost max health. I think, like, come on, just go for it. Well, I mean, right now, I mean, he wouldn't have to go for it. Because, you know, I've got no, well, pretty much no stamina right now. So I was thinking, well, if I can perfect block now, get right there, and like send him flying away, that may, you know, well, he'll get stamina reset. A painful one at that boot, regardless, he will get stamina reset. Then maybe he'll go for the giant they're making for. They go for a burning strike. Yeah, he missed, great. But so thinking, if you're not going to go for the giant making form now, I'm going to end it. And spoilers, he doesn't. So I'm thinking, it's your funeral, you know. Uh, yeah, he's blocking now. Um, I mean, he was, yeah, he was blocking there. And if I went for the arm crash a little bit sooner, that would have 100% guaranteed broken his guard, but I didn't, you know, spot it soon enough, I guess. So yeah, so right there, into the sledgehammer, into I believe the cross arm dive. No, well, got a double sledgehammer, and that is game. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and with that being said, I will see you next time.